Hi, I am Siva Fanindra, lecturer in the Department of Computer Science, SGK Government Degree College, Vinkonda. In this video, I am going to give you a detailed description of computer interfaces. Everyone who is acquainted with a computer can easily understand the meaning of interface. It is the meeting point between a user and a computer. It is through the interface that you work with the computer. Now, for a good interface, that is, for an interface to be said good interface, it should possess certain characteristics. They are, it should be safely used, it should be effective, it should be efficient, and it should be enjoyable. These are the characteristics of a good interface. And there are certain factors that, that are to be considered by designers when designing an interface. They are, who is using the interface? for what purpose, that is, what are the tasks that should be performed on the interface, and what is the environment. Environment implies where will you deploy the computer. This is the environment of the computer. And feasibility, that is, is it feasible to use the interface. These are the four issues that should be kept in the mind by the designers when designing an interface. Now, there are four type of interfaces. They are command line interfaces, they are menu driven interfaces, there is graphical user interface, GUI, most of you might have heard of this, and there is natural language interface. Coming to command line interface, most of you might have used MS-DOS, that is a command line interface. Here you just type comments. This is most suitable for experts, experts who can remember comments, but it is not suitable for Navy people. You have to remain, remember very complex commands. This command line interface is mainly used in engineering applications, scientific applications, and some administrative works. Coming to menu driven interfaces, you might have seen this type of interface in system boot. When you are setting some options in system boot, you see this type of interface. Of course, there are also certain softwares which use menu driven interfaces. In menu driven interfaces, you will be shown certain menu items from which you can select the one that you need. That is, instead of typing commands, you can select the command from the given menu. This is very useful for Navy users. However, it, it has its own disadvantages. It is not suitable for expert users. Expert users, instead of typing a single command, need to go through all the menu items to check the relevant menu item for their command. So, this menu based interface is best suitable for Navy users. You can see this menu driven interface in ATMs, mobile phones, MP3 players, video recorders and so on. Most of you might be very familiar with this menu driven interface and there is another type of interface called graphical user interface. In this interface is most popular for all the computer users. In graphical user interface, it uses windows, it uses icons, it uses mouse, it uses pointers. So, WIMP, WIMP, an interface which uses WIMP is said to be graphical user interface. The advantages of this graphical user interface are increased speed of learning, it is easy to use, you can use it with confidence, you can have many softwares having GUI. So overall, most of the users today in the world uses GUI. Now there is another type of user interface which is very unpopular. Actually, some of you might have used in Google search engine, that is natural language interface, in which you just give oral commands, that is, you say command and it gives you the answer. The advantages of this natural language interface is obvious. You need not learn anything. You need not be trained in anything. You can just ask for it and you get it. However, the disadvantage is these natural language interfaces are just emerging technologies. That is, there are some bugs and issues to be considered. How do they different? How do they differentiate one language with the other language? How do they understand slang within the language? 
this all comes under artificial intelligence and that is a different topic now this is about computer interfaces thank you